Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist, Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls at 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we don't have to leave anybody on hold. That's 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour. If you have questions about the longevity products or the longevity business, if you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth 5%, uh, Retinol 5% Gel, comments, success stories you'd like to share with us, 844-236-6010 is our number. And of course, if you want to purchase any of our longevity products, please head to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website. And you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website as well. And for you guys interested in checking out our new cannabinoid product, uh, you can. we had an interview on Monday with Ed Learberger from Pure Hem Technologies. If you're dealing with anxiety or pain or, God forbid, cancer, cannabinoids or CBD is pretty darn important stuff. Just Google CBD, CBD for cannabidiol and cancer, CBD and anxiety, CBD and chronic pain, CBD and seizure disorders. You're going to be amazed by what you find out. You don't get high. You don't get stoned from the stuff. But it is a remarkable fraction from the, uh, from the uh, marijuana or hemp plant, CBD cannabidiol, and it's got some amazing properties. If you're interested in checking out our cannabinoid tincture, and I've seen personally incredible results with this stuff, and that's why I put it on brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com, and you'll find other interesting health products, all vetted by me. The only thing you're going to find on Brightside Health products are products that work really well. Not just work okay, but work really, really well, including our digestive enzyme products, our bone broth protein, and our cannabinoid tincture. BrightsideHealth.com. All right, thanks for joining us once again on the Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben, and we are talking about what I consider to be, anyway, the primary cause of disease, the primary cause of of uh, age, the aging process, the definitive reason why people who are older look different from people who are younger, or people who are aging, I should say, uh, look different from people who are young and healthy. And conversely, the primary cause or the primary reason why the body is strong and resilient and young and healthy. And that includes the skin, by the way. So what is this nexus of aging and disease as opposed to uh, youth and health? The connective tissue. And I know I've been talking about it for a long time, and I will continue talking about it because it is the juncture of health. This is where we got to be. This is where we got to focus, and we're focusing on health. Everything in the body is supported by this system. And this is the dirty little secret among many dirty little secrets. This is a dirty little secret of the pharmacomedical model. They don't, want to, they don't want you to know about this because there ain't nothing your doctor can do for the connective tissue. Nothing, not a zippo. Nothing. And in many ways, this represents the failure of medicine because they can't deal with the connective tissue. The connective tissue is only responsive to us, to our lifestyle choices, to the divine force. And if you want uh, the exemplar, 
the prime representative of spirituality and divinity in the body, look no further than the connective tissue. This is why acupuncture and Chinese medicine and, and energy medicine work at the level of the connective tissue. You will rarely hear the words connective tissue or fascia, which is the connective tissue band that links all the organs and bodies together. You'll rarely hear the word fascia, or for that matter, probably not connective tissue, from your doctor, from your pharmacist, unless maybe you've torn it, or if you've somehow dramatically damaged it, or maybe if you have what's called a connective tissue disease. Yet in this system, we have the ultimate point, the ultimate point of wellness or the lack thereof. The link between how healthy we are, how youthful we are, how youthful we look, because the skin, the, the youthfulness of the skin is dependent on the connective tissue. This link between health and youth and anti-aging and the connective tissue is easy to visualize if we're thinking about tendons or arthritis maybe or ligaments. But what's less often recognized, and this is what I really want to hit home on this program, and this is what we've been doing now for the last few weeks is hitting home this less often recognized link between connective tissue and general breakdown of the body. This less often recognized link between the connective tissue and gum disease and wrinkles and photo damage and fibromyalgia and cancer itself, as well as the condition of the various organs of the body. The organs of the body depend on the connective tissue to be fed. Your pancreas, your gallbladder, your liver, your lungs, your spleen, they all depend on the health of the connective tissue that surrounds them. And nobody ever talks about this. The connective tissue is feeding these organs. The connective tissue is oxygenating these organs. The connective tissue is detoxifying these organs. The connective tissue is supporting these organs. Can you see how, how critical this is? And then there's the circulatory system. Heart disease, the number one killer. Out of five people listening to this program, one or two has heart disease. This is a serious, significant problem, and it's about the connective tissue largely. If you're one of the unfortunate millions of Americans who is dealing with heart disease, and that includes fibrillations, that includes tachycardia, that includes arrhythmias of all kinds, that includes mitral valve prolapse and valve disease of all kinds, that includes enlarged hearts, if you had a history of, of, of blood clots, I'm now going to tell you something that you probably didn't know unless you've been listening to this program and you will not hear from your genius cardiologist. Genius in quotes. Air quotes. Your connective tissue is breaking down. Yes, if you have any of these issues, your connective tissue is breaking down. Take that to, the, to your cardiologist. He's not going to tell you. He doesn't know probably, but it's, he can't do anything about the connective tissue. So he'll give you an antiarrhythmic and he'll give you a beta blocker and he'll do a, a, a bypass or he'll stick a balloon or an angioplasty or a stand and all these genius things that our cardiologists do to carve us up and poison us and ablate us, that is destroy our hearts, because they can't do anything about the connective tissue. This is mean-spirited, anti-humanity nastiness. How rude. Well, I don't want to say it's rude because they don't know. It's ignorant. It's rude for them to position themselves as knowing because they don't. It's a connective tissue problem in many ways. And this is why heart disease is linked to connective tissue disorders, rheumatoid arthritis. Heart disease is connected to rheumatoid arthritis. It's connected to Marfan syndrome. It's connected to Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. It's, connected to, uh, it's, it's related to mixed connective tissue diseases, to lupus, to scleroderma, to polyomyositis, uh, myositis to derma, uh, dermatomyositis. These are all recognized connective tissue diseases and they're all linked to heart disease because it's the same thing. The body doesn't break down in any of these special ways. It breaks down in the same way. You get damage, you get inflammation, you get fibrosis, and then you get disease. Let me say that again because that's the disease process. That's the chronic disease process in a nutshell, folks. You get damage, the body responds to the damage by inflammation. The body responds to the inflammation by fibrosis. And then you get disease. Damage, inflammation, fibrosis, disease. And in, in the catch-all phrase disease, I'm including the aging process itself, which isn't really disease, but it's the same thing. Damage to the tissue caused by lack of nutrition, lack of oxygen and toxicity, followed by inflammation, followed by fibrosis, followed by disease. And that includes the heart. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. All right. 
I am Pharmacist Ben. Welcome back to The Bright Side. Thanks for listening, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. If you miss program, we've been talking now about connective tissue for a few weeks, actually probably a few months. Uh, if you're interested or you want to share share some of the ideas that we uh, talk about every day on the bright side with any of your clients or friends or family members please go to brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com and we have a search uh, search engine or search box on both sites thank you to peter in the uk for setting that up uh, benfuchsarchives.com of course you can purchase longevity products or sign up to join the bright side ben team off of our websites as well, eight, uh, or you can call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Love to have you on our team. If you're entrepreneurially minded, if you're a business person, if you want to make some money, even if you're not a business person, longevity makes it very easy. Uh, it's basically small business in a box. You don't need a lot of inventory. You don't need a lot of investment, and you can make some serious money. And you can also help change lives for the better. You can help if you're naturally predilected to being in the healing business, if you feel like you're a healer, if you feel like you want to help people heal their bodies. This is a great way to make some money and, uh, and uh, leverage your passion for health and nutrition. Call 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. Or you can go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right off the websites if you're interested in our Truth Skin Health products, which I developed basically as ways that you could develop connective, ways that you could build your own connective tissue topically. That's what our Truth Skin Health products are, and that's why I call the products the truth, because the truth is if you want to anti-age your skin, if you want to reverse or prevent the aging process, including wrinkles, including fine lines and crow's feet, including thinning of the skin, if you want to keep your skin youthful, you need to be working on the connective tissue. Now, certainly internally working on the connective tissue is the most important way to build your skin. But what I discovered as a compounding pharmacist is that the healing process, when we burn or cut or scrape our skin and we want to accelerate healing, is exactly the same as the anti-aging process in the sense that both involve building connective tissue. And as a compounding pharmacist, I had a job to do helping people with their skin, helping people deal with burnt skin, with, with surgically mani uh, traumatized skin, or just generally traumatized skin, or damaged skin in any way. And what I discovered was when you use vitamin A and you use vitamin C and you put it in a transdermal system that allows the active materials to get to the connective tissue, you get not only healed skin, you get anti-aging skin. And that's why I developed my Truth Skin Health products. Truth 5%, Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream are all ways, all represent topical strategies for driving nutrients into the building blocks of connective tissue so you can have thicker, stronger, more vital, more youthful, anti-aged, less wrinkled, less fine-lined skin. And that includes photo damage, which, by the way, is also a skin connective tissue problem. Check out all our true skin health problems at truthtreatments.com. So it's not a stretch to say that aging itself, no matter what system we're talking about, is a connective tissue problem, and that includes the heart. And if you're one of the many millions of Americans uh, who are dealing with, with some aspect of heart disease, and that includes fibrillations and arrhythmias and valve disease and large hearts, blood clots, so-called cholesterol deposits and calcium deposits. If you had a heart attack, I am now going to tell you something. Nobody's telling you. Your connective tissue is breaking down. This is probably the primary cause of heart disease in many ways. I, I would go so far as to say the primary cause of heart disease is degeneration of the connective tissue, and that includes the blood vessels in the heart. At the row, Sclerosis. This is the major aspect, the major facet of heart disease. Atherosclerosis. Athero means mush, porridge, grout. Sclerosis mean, means hardening. Atherosclerosis means hard mush. You got hard mush in your heart. So what the heck, or in the blood vessels of your heart. So what the heck's going on? Why would the body deposit hard mush in the heart? Because it's stupid? No, the body's not stupid. Because the cells are just dumb. They're drunk. They're retarded. No, they're not drunk. They're not dumb. They're, they're attempting to repair damage. This is what this is all about. Blood clots, thromboses, embolisms. What is this about? It's an attempt to protect. It's an attempt by the body to protect itself. It will clot the blood so you don't bleed. 
this link between uh, the connective tissue, connective tissue damage, and the circulatory system includes these cholesterol deposits and the calcium deposits that you hear about. So the doctors say, you better not take that calcium supplement. Oh, you don't want that beyond tangy tangerine because that's got calcium in it. That's a bad thing. Calcium supplements. Oh, we don't want calcium. Why? Why don't we want calcium, doctor? Well, there's calcium in those deposits. So obviously you don't want calcium. No, that's not true. That's dumb. Oh, but we know there's cholesterol in there. So you better not eat those egg yolks. Dumb, stupid. If any doctor tells you that, I don't care what his degree is. That's stupid. Cholesterol deposits and calcium deposits in the blood vessels of the heart represent the body's attempts to correct damage. They're not a sign of too much cholesterol. They're not a sign of too much calcium. Dumb, dumb, dumb. If anybody tells you that, I don't care what their degree is. It's dumb. It's a complete, represents a complete lack of understanding of how the body works. So calcium deposits, cholesterol deposits are not biological mistakes that are the result of incompetence. And they're not a reason to take a statin drug. That's why at best you'll hear numbers like 1% increase or 2% increase in or 1% decrease in heart attacks. These tiny little insignificant factors and they don't tell you that you're drugging your body up. You know, in the scheme of things, there's worse drugs than statins, and this is what allows even supposed intelligent people to recommend them. Because they're relatively benign, but no drug is totally benign. Your body still has to purify itself. This is the difference between drugs and nutrition. You take a drug, your body regards that as a toxin. The only thing that you can ingest that the body will not regard as a toxin is a, one of the mighty 90 essential nutrients and foods, although even foods contain substances, especially vegetables and plant foods, contain substances that the body will regard as a toxin, but tiny, tiny amounts. For the most part, food and nutrition is the only thing the body's supposed to have in it in terms of uh, the digestive tract, not a drug. Not, the, the body is freaked out when you put a drug in there, even if it's a relatively benign one like a statin. And once we understand the nature of, car, of the heart and the cardiovascular system and its relationship to the connective tissue, and when we understand heart disease and its relationship to broken down connective tissue, this degeneration leading to inflammation, leading to fibrosis phenomenon, this is everything, folks. Degeneration, inflammation leads to fibrosis. When we understand this, we will understand the fallacy and the biochemical boneheadedness of this cholesterol hypothesis, which is what it's called, cholesterol causes heart disease, and, and statin pharmacomedical model therapy, or, uh, therapy for dealing with heart disease, cardiomyopathy, uh, uh, a pathological heart. Of course, if, you've had, if you had a heart attack, or if you have heart disease, and you're seeing a cardiologist, the odds are pretty slim he's going to tell you about glucosamine, because he doesn't know. Now you know. Glucosamine, chondroitin, bone broth protein, cartilage-containing products are important for the heart as well as the joints for arthritis, because heart disease is about the connective tissue in many ways. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back with you and your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. Don't go away. We are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number. And we do have a couple lines open for you. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you in just a minute. A couple uh, stories I want to get to. Uh, I've got a bunch here. I'll just get to, I'll just talk about one or two of these here. This is from Trends in Cognitive Science. The aging brain benefits from distraction. Hmm. How interesting is that? That is, when we're distracted, uh, for people over 50 anyway, uh, there may be some benefits to what's called reduced focus using behavioral studies. The researchers in this article discussed how being easily distracted can perhaps help adults with problem solving and learning new information. I find that extremely interesting. When we're distracted, as opposed to when we're highly focused, we're activating a different part of our brain. This idea of open focus versus narrow focus can be utilized for anti-anxiety, it can be utilized for healing and anti-aging, it can be utilized for re relaxation and for helping you fall asleep. 
Most of the time we're focusing at, we're looking out of the center of our eyes. That's called narrow focus. Notice right now, if you're looking at something, that you're probably sent, looking out of the center, of, the center of your eyes. This activates a part of the brain called the, or, or an, uh, activates a, an energy, uh, energy, a type of energy that's emitted from the brain that is associated with what's called beta brain waves. Beta brain waves are focused brain waves. And when we focus out of the center of our eyes, we look out of the center of our eyes, which we always do pretty much, we're activating the beta nervous system or the beta brain waves, which is a, a focusing system. On the other hand, the alpha brain waves, which are associated with relaxation, are kicked in or, or activated or turned on when we focus out of the sides of our eyes, peripheral vision, when we look at our peripheral vision. When we, when we open focus, when we're kind of relaxed in terms of our attention, we activate a more relaxing part of our brain, which leads to better learning, better cognitive function. Try it right now. See if you can see the difference between looking straight out of the middle of your eyes from activating, out of, uh, activating the visual field, if you will, out of the sides of your eyes, your peripheral vision. Open focus is the periphery of your eyes and narrow focus is the center of your eyes. We're always narrow focusing, rarely open focusing, but this, uh, when we understand this, this, app, this uh, uh, allows us to leverage a very important way, to, uh, a strategy for relaxation. Open focus, looking out of the center of our eyes, and according to this article anyway, can also improve our ability to learn. Distraction can improve our ability to learn. All right, 844-236-6010. Let us take our first phone call of the day, if I can find it. First phone call of the day. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's go to Elaine in Alaska. What's up, Elaine? Oh, you called yesterday. Hi, Elaine. Hi, can you hear me okay? I hear you great. Good morning. Thanks great. for calling back. Yeah, thanks for taking my call, and thank you for this great show. I just awesome. have a, um, a quick comment and a question. Sure. Um, basically, quick comment, uh, 2005, my daughter was about six months old. I woke up June 25th, and uh, all my joints basically felt like moving with shards of glass. As oh, wow. Scripture. I was in so much pain. Uh, for about three years. And wait, 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 Elaine, hang on, hang on. Yeah. You were perfectly healthy, woke up one morning, you had this pain that lasted for three years. Is that right? Did I, I woke say that up right? June 25th, 2005. But, but you were fine before that? I was perfectly fine. My daughter was about six months old. I thought it had something to do with nursing. Okay. Uh, Go but, ahead. Go ahead. Continue. By the time in November of 2005, it was pretty much in all of my joints. Okay. Um, a rheumatologist, she diagnosed me with lupus and wanted to put me on seven hardcore uh, drugs. Um, being a physical therapist, I see so many drug interactions, and I just knew in my heart that wasn't right. So I only agreed to go on um, Plaquenil and Clenaril or Solendac. Um, and then in 2008, my doctor encouraged me to stop eating sugar. Um, which I rolled my eyes, but it was amazing. Um, it was amazing? The results were amazing? Yeah, that, that painful shards of glass, just it went from like an 8 out of 10. The only way I could keep my pain under control was with Solendec. Yeah. Basically went from an 8 out of 10 to like a 3 or 4 out wow. of 10. Wow, wow, that's amazing. That's, and you were a physical therapist. You, you, it wasn't like Correct. you didn't know. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's yeah. awesome. So where are you? what's going on now? So now, so uh, 2009, I cut out uh, wheat, gluten, much improved with the morning stiffness. So you went and, from a three to like a two or a one after you dropped the, dropped the wheat? Yeah, yeah, just very low-level pain. So you're talking um, going down from a 10 to like a two or a one just by lo losing the wheat and the grains and the sugar? Correct. But That's it, awesome. But you still had a two or a one there? Yeah, like a, like a one or two, just very minimal okay. pain. But the one okay. symptom that never went away until... Yeah. I can't believe it. Sarah Jack and Tangy Tangerine, I always felt this chronic fatigue, like if you were recovering from a flu. Yeah. And I basically felt that way for 10 years. And yeah. then I was listening to a radio show, and, and I heard this gentleman talking and talking about this Tangy Tangerine. And whatever I do, I only do one thing at a time. So I started in April of 2015 taking um, Beyond Tangy Tangerine. 
um, just not real, you know, kind of skeptical. But in four days, <laughs> I woke up and I didn't have that that tachycardia, that pressure in my heart. That's, that's awesome. And that's that, the only thing you did. <clears throat> that's the only that thing. That was all, the only thing I've done. That's so I awesome. basically. So my question is. Well, hang on. Uh, let me ask you a couple. Let me ask, first of all, what yes. show were you listening to? Was it this show? That was actually Coast to Coast. Co- coast to Coast. Okay. So you heard Doc or me or one of us? It was Dr. Wallach that was Okay, talking. good. I'm just good deal. Good naturally deal. skeptical, but... And you were I, skeptical, and you should be. And I always, I always encourage people to be skeptical, but, but I know you're going to get results. You were starving to death, basically. You were malnourished. Even though you may not have looked like it, your body was malnourished in terms of the Mighty 90. So that's awesome, awesome stuff, and I hope everybody out there who's dealing with any kind of health challenge, really, or who's on the fence about nutritional supplementation or thinks that we're just beating the beyond tangy tangerine to death because we want to make two bucks on every bottle of it, I want everybody to understand that these are the kinds of results you could get, and these are the kinds of results I hear about and I've heard about now for 20 years. Thank you for sharing that. That's very special, yeah. Elaine. I appreciate it. I, so how can we help you today? I just have a quick question. The only symptom that has kind of come back is I'm more active now. Okay. Some of that tachycardia. Some, some okay, good. Let's help, let's help you with that. Let's help you with that quickly, okay? There's a few things to do, okay? Now, I don't, if you've been listening to what I've been talking about with the connective tissue, that's definitely something you want to focus on, uh, but that's more long-term uh, because when the connective tissue breaks down, it's much more difficult for the heart to pass energy through, uh, through all the ventricles and, and, and atria correctly, and so you get electrical sparks, and that's where these arrhythmias and tachycardias come from. However, for the most part, if you want to get quick results from tachycardia, for the listeners, rapid heart beat, that's what that means. If you want to get quick results, you want to relax the body immediately. Now, you're a physical therapist, and you probably know everything we're talking about, about connective tissue. How do you like the connective tissue stuff, by the way, as a physical therapist? Oh, I, I, it's exactly what I work with, and it's amazing. Right. So. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, when nobody talks about it, except for physical therapists talk about it, of course. Right, but, right. But, but lay people and, and medical model doesn't address this. Anyway, relaxing the body, the physiology, is extremely important. Important. And you as a physical therapist know exactly what I'm talking about. Slow, deep breathing, number one, most important thing, slow, deep breathing. That alone will make a difference. Hey, i got to take a break, Elaine. Stick with us, and we'll finish up when we come back, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Hang on if you're on hold. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. Don't go away. Got more good health information coming at you on The Bright Side. Back on the bright side, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Uh, lost Elaine. Sorry, I hope I didn't do that to you, Elaine. In any case, uh, relaxing the body is going to be critical for you. Uh, make sure you're doing the slow, deep breathing. This is for the tachycardia, the rapid heartbeat. Uh, slow, deep breathing. Even do it when you're not. Don't, you're not experiencing the rapid heartbeat. Just throughout the day, slow, deep breathing, and always in a rhythm. The body loves rhythm. In, out. Even just listening to rhythm, slow rhythm, that is. Uh, a rhythm of seven beats per second or seven. Seven's a good number. That's, uh, that's, I think that's the rhythm of the earth, actually. Anyway, slow rhythms, slow, deep rhythms. We talked about alpha states earlier. Alpha state is a slow brainwave state, relatively slow brainwave state, as opposed to a beta brainwave state, which is a rapid, much more rapid brainwave state. So slow, deep breathing is very helpful. Hot water is very helpful. Listening to a body, a body rhythm or body sound can be helpful. In fact, listening to ambient sounds is a great way to, to uh, activate this relaxation response. Just listening to ambient noise. If you stop right now and wherever you're at, you know, even if it's silent, it's not silent. There's all kinds of noises. It's like an orchestra of noise. There's actually music in ambient sounds that we don't listen to or we don't tune into. But if we did tune into it, not only would we be pretty amazed, because it's kind of beautiful, actually. And this is a great way to get yourself into a trance state or a meditative state or what's called an alpha brainwave state, all of which can have a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, relaxing, uh, relaxing or induce a relaxing response, I should say. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten. Let's go to Harold, Pennsylvania. Good morning, Harold. How you doing? Uh, good morning, Ben. Uh, I met you a couple of years ago up in Olean, New York. When oh yeah. Come, when you coming back east? 
Uh, not in the winter time. Well, not the only. <laughs> Have you had snow yet? Has it, it been snowing? There? We've had snow. We got some forecast for this weekend. Are you from and, Olean? You didn't move to Olean. I don't no, think. I drove up a hundred miles one way just to see your handsome face. Oh, I appreciate that, Harold. Good deal. That was a, that was two years ago. Over uh, two years ago. Almost three, according to the wife. Wow. Yeah. What's and going on? We listen, we listen to you all the time. You have a Thank very you. informative program. Keep up oh, the work. That. Well, I you know what? It takes it, it, only intelligent people are going to like the stuff I talk about. So if you think it's informative, that says as much about you as it does about this show. So well, give yourself some, you, give sir. yourself some props. Okay. A big question. Carol's going to be facing both hip replacement surgery. Okay. She wants wants to know what she should load up on before oh, and after awesome the question. procedure. Harold, awesome. That's b- loading up before is key for anybody dealing with surgery, especially when they're going to replace a joint like a hip replacement or knee replacement, because that involves a lot of damage to what, the connective tissue. What we're talking about here. You know, you know what you hear what I'm saying? The connective tissue thing. Yeah. See, this is the problem. They stick yeah. a hip in there, right? But they don't help you repair the connective tissue that holds the whole thing together. And this is why yeah. people need a new hip replacement, or their their hip replacement breaks down after three or four years because nobody's building the connective tissue. Okay. So before you go, uh, two months, as much as you can, two months would be great, one month before your surgical procedure, you want to start loading up on connective tissue building nutrients, protein especially, uh, bone broth protein. Get her on the bone broth protein stat. That means in pharmacy right away, right, today. Right. <laughs> bone broth protein and bone broth for that matter. Any th- she should be completely, as best as she can, reducing her intake of anything, any foods that are pro-inflammatory, and that means sugar especially. Right. She knows it's sugar not her, f- her diet. No. How about okay. vitamin C, Ben? Well, absolutely. You cannot make connective tissue without vitamin C. Essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs. Right. Get her on some glucosamine. Right. Uh, in addition to uh, in addition to the bone broth protein and bone broth itself, these building blocks that are in the cartilage, hyaluronic acid, a couple hundred milligrams of that a day, vitamin E, uh, uh, maybe f- uh, 400 to 800 IU of vitamin E a day, Mag- all the minerals, especially zinc and magnesium and calcium for that matter. Get her on the osteo mag. Uh, as well as 50 milligrams, five zero milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. Make sure she's doing a, um, a vitamin A, very important for building connective tissue, uh, 20,000 international units a day. Make sure she's doing a little bit of exercise, a little bit. You don't want to uh, stress she, things too much. Can she do anything? In, ben, she's in such pain right no, now, okay. but she still right. does. Whatever she, she can do, whatever she can do. She still does her exercises every morning. Whatever she can do. Yoga, massage, have her have to do some body work, too, to get the blood flow going into the connective tissue. And okay. also, of course, making sure she's breathing correctly to make sure there's oxygen in the blood for building connective tissue. That, those, right. That's a great question. I'm glad you called, right. uh, Harold. Thank you so much. And thank yeah. you for the compliments as well. I hope I helped you out. I'm going to move on, okay? Okay, Ben. Uh, thank you. Have a thank nice you. Thanksgiving next God week. bless you. Take care, ma'am. God okay, good luck you. to your wife, too. Good. Bye-bye. All right, let's go to Denise in Santa Cruz. Good morning, Denise. What's up? Yay, good morning. I'm calling on behalf of my neighbor. has okay. a nauseousness for about 10 days now. Something just gagging her. She's got a lot of inflammation. Expect her, you know, it's coming up in her lungs. How she's old is this gal? How old, how old is this old. Oh, okay, 80 so 80 something she's breaking down. No energy. Yeah, she's breaking down here. Here's what you need to do. First and yeah. foremost, get her on some nutrition right away. If she's, if she's not doing the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, just get it for her. Get some samples. Just get her in her system. Okay? That's right. She's, I'm doing that right now. Perfect. If you can get her to do some gelatin, that might help her as well. Oh, thank you. That's a great idea. Yeah, get her some gelatin. That might help. And then also uh, uh, get her some chicken soup, bone soup. You want to give her, she's probably starving. She's probably, poor lady's probably starving. She's malnourished. So get her all, these are all ways of getting some highly concentrated nutrients. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Denise. Oh, she lost eight pounds this week. Yeah, yeah. She's probably starving. Get her right away. Get her on all these things today. You can, you can maybe save her life actually, because this could be serious. All right. Then the next thing you're going to want to, this, this should take care of some of the nausea. Okay. If she's consistently chronically nauseous after that, uh, then you got to start putting together some more symptoms. And probably you're going to see some digestive symptoms in there. She may be eating the wrong food. What is she eating? Yeah, well, she's trying to have, like, eggs with spinach, and I encourage her not to have Maybe too heavy for her. Maybe too heavy. She may not be processing it. 
But What's she, that? They, the doctors gave her this medicine. They put her on prednisone. They gave her prednisone, and then they gave her some prednisone for what? What's the prednisone for? The nausea? Because she, because she had bronchitis. Ah, oh, is she still taking like, the prednisone? Yes, and that's what. Well, the prednisone scary. can easily cause nausea. This poor gal. This poor woman. Uh, you know what? I got. I don't have a lot of time here, but this is important. Why don't you shoot me an email, Ben at ksco.com, and put your phone number there, okay, Denise? And then I'll get okay. back to you. I'll spend some time with you because that's. This is a little bit more complicated than just a phone call, than just a, a phone oh, call on the radio. Thank you. All right. Well, take care, you Denise. Know, I, I'm mixing her some BCT and water right now, and I got only a small bottle of the uh, uh, eight ounce, ten ounce. I was going to put two scoops of the Beyond Tea. I've been no, her- no, no, not two scoops. Nope. Just small amount, be- and then also the gelatin, and then also um, the bone soup, real the bone, bone soup. Okay, okay. and then send me an email. Put your phone number there. All right, thank you, Ben. Have a beautiful All right, Denise, day. God bless you. Take care. All right, Truth Raider, what's going on, man? Well, good morning, Ben. Uh, yeah, good morning. Part, Got about a minute, two. buddy, so no, you can't, no, no prefaces. <laughs> You know, I gotta, I'm going to cut you off again. I ain't doing that, but we got a minute. Yes, prostate health. Yes, now, sir. Is this a sign of hormonal change? Yes. This early andropause. It's a sign you're getting old, Carl the Truth Raider. I think you're just 50, right, that. or 51 or something? You know, Get on some beta. Here's what you want to do, okay? Yeah. Number one, and this is for anybody who's dealing with the beginnings of prostate disease, and it happens right around age 50, sometimes earlier even. You want beta cytosterol. Okay, beta cytosterol. You want 300 milligrams of it a day. You okay. want your Prost FX from Longevity. Take two of those a day, two capsules of those a day. You want the Ultimate Selenium, 400 to 600 micrograms a day. You okay. want zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day. You want vitamin E, 400 mixed tocopherols ideally, or actually mixed tocotrienols or both. You want 400 to 800 um, um, milligrams of that a day, and you want to stay away from crappy fried foods. The prostate gland is especially responsive. And, and by the way, ultimate EFAs, I forgot those, nine okay. a day. The, the sure. prostate gland is extremely responsive to fats and fatty vitamins and bad fats. So you've got to make sure if you're dealing with prostate issues that you're focusing on the fatty system of the body and as well as good steroid hormones. Such as, and this is what the beta cytosterol does for you, but also progesterone cream can help, or also pregnenolone capsule or pregnenolone pills, I guess, capsules or tablets, 100 milligrams a day. And then also one of the most underappreciated of all the vitamins when it comes to the steroid hormones, vitamin B5, pantothenic acid. Anybody dealing with a steroid uh, hormone problem? Thanks, Carl. Appreciate it, man. Uh, have a great day, man. Have a great day. Um, anybody dealing with a hormone problem, a steroid hormone problem, that includes women and menopause, you need to be using vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, along with all your B vitamins. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you so much for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about connective tissue. And if you want to build your connective tissue topically, get my Truth Retinol 5% Gel, as well as Truth Serum, Truth Bomb, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, specifically formulated for connective tissue in the skin. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later. Bye for now.